Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to see how we can use the PowerShell script to take a snapshot on the vCenter virtual machine. Here in this script, we have used some variables. So let me explain you the script. Here we have used the credential variable. Here we have used the vCenter variable and here we have used the VMs variable. So here in the credential, we are giving the credential uh, to connect the vCenter. And here in the vCenter, we are giving the vCenter name. So in the third line, whenever uh, we are connecting the VI server, automatically whichever the name you have entered, it will be uh, taken here. Okay, and it will use the credential uh, that we have specified here. So it will establish the connection to the vCenter and after connection is established, it will try to run the command, this one. So we are giving the VMs list. So whenever if you if you want to take a snapshot of multiple servers on the same v center you can uh, give all the computer name here and it should be vm name not the host name if if there is a mismatch in the host name and the virtual machine name then please use the virtual machine name here so it will try to find the machine in the v center with this name okay so let me show you uh, the v center and we have a three vm here two machines are power on and one is power on power off so uh, here we are using the new hyphen snapshot command with the hyphen vm parameter and we here we are giving the vm variable which we had created here so uh, one by one it will run the command on all the computer and then we have a hyphen name parameter so we have to give the snapshot name here and then again the description parameter we have to give the description for the now here we have another parameter uh, hyphen memory so it is used to create a snapshot with the memory if you want to capture the memory also from for the virtual machine that you are going to take a snapshot you can use this and you have to make this value as a true so currently we have make it false you can delete also if you don't want memory in all your uh, snapshot activity you can just delete this also but we are keeping this as a false so it will not uh, impact anything in the script so uh, this script sometimes gives error in the ISC. So I will suggest uh, you run this script directly on the PowerShell. So let me run this script and we'll see whether it is uh, working or not. Enter the vCenter name. Okay, the connection is established and you can see here the snapshot activity is being performed. Okay, so currently there is no snapshot on this. Okay, and you can see the snapshot has been completed on all three computers. You can see here the logs. Okay, and you can press enter to exit the script. Now sometimes it gives the error that this VM parameter cannot have the array. Uh, it should be a single value here, but uh, if you run this script from the PowerShell, it will definitely work. If you if you are getting any error to run this script uh, by the PowerShell ISC. Okay, now uh, we have another script. Okay, so something a little bit modified version where you have option to select the text file. So now here we are giving the text file uh, in the script and we every time we have to edit this right. So uh, it is better that you created a notepad file and you you want to give that. So how we will give that? Okay. So here let me create one more variable. Okay. Dollar V center. Okay. So let me copy this. Okay, and then we'll use this variable in connect vi. So I don't want to give a specific name here. Let me save this and uh, I'm running this script now. Okay. So if I run this, it will give me the prompt to uh, select the text file. I'll go here and I'll select all server. Once I select, it will ask me to enter the vCenter name. So mom vc01. And you can see it is again taking the snapshot. 
now there is a one snapshot and it will create another one and you can see the name of the snapshot again the new snapshot has been created okay the uh, earlier snapshot name is the before packing and uh, now the name of snapshot because we haven't specified any value here so this is how you can use the script I'll also show you how to run this uh, through the power uh, PowerShell directly. So let me close this. I'll open this one. Run with PowerShell. Now it is asking me uh, the text file where you have the server list. Enter the vCenter name. It is asking me the username password to connect the vCenter. And you can see it started taking the snapshot of the virtual machine at the back end. You can see here the recent task and another third snapshot has been completed. Okay, so the same thing. Uh, let me run the another script here. Okay, this one run with PowerShell and it is asking me the username password. We sent her name. And it will start taking the snapshot. Let me. Okay, now you can see the recent task. And you can see all the snapshot has been completed. So in this way, you can just create a snapshot of the multiple VMs at the same time. Uh, please let me know if you are facing any challenges while using the script. I'll try to answer that. Thank you for watching the video.